Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. Uh, you've probably recently seen this this thing. If you're a small YouTuber, you're invited to the Demise SMP. It starts off as a fairly normal SMP with a 500 by 500 world border. Now, if you haven't, go and watch it. It'll probably make a difference. But um, you you should know that I am hopefully starting a SMP called the Demise SMP. Now I get that there is already something called the Demise SMP and it's completely unrelated to that and personally I think I, I deserve the name more. I don't really know what the other Demise SMP is if I'm being honest. But it's a pretty ambitious concept. Um, you should go and watch the, the other, the short now. This video will be going over it in more detail and I am going to be also working out the logistics of it with command blocks because it's going to be rather tough. I don't really know how I'm going to do this. Now the Demise SMP starts off as a fairly normal SMP with a 500 by 500 world border until someone dies. There are two teams, the Alive and the Demised. The Alive players are perfectly normal. Their only goal is to survive, but they do have the disadvantage that they glow green so the entire server can see them. PvP among alive players is not allowed. Everyone starts as an alive player, but when someone dies, whether it be by murder or by accident, they will join the demised team. At this point they have lost, but they get to keep playing unless they're revived, and I'll get to that later. When someone is demised, they must change to an evil version of their skin. This is something that I can quite happily do for the person playing if, if they need it. This is quite obviously the evil version of my skin, and I think you've seen... Actually, I don't know if you have seen the non-evil version of my skin, but I can't be bothered to relog. Let's go watch the video and you'll see the non-evil version of my skin. The most players are practically ghosts. They can't be touched by anyone and they can't engage in PvP in any way, but their goal is to kill people. So, what they need to do is trap people and then the server will start on easy mode for 24 hours to give people some time to gear up and then it will switch to hard mode and people will start to die. Alliances are very strongly encouraged for two reasons. I'm only going to mention one of them because the other one is you know just for my side of it you know it's yeah it's like a Something that I want, that if I tell people that I want it, then it probably won't happen. Does that make sense? Anyway, alliances are encouraged because each of you will, not you, each of the people playing is allowed to revive one person. And then, the, if you have a lot of alliances, then you'll have a lot of lives because people will give their one life to you. But of course, you have to be consider it like the more alliances you have you've got risks of betrayal and stuff when people die and it's just all yeah i mean there's nothing stopping you from oh that's the there's nothing stopping you from being uh, allied with a demised person really you know that's not against the rules um uh, eventually there'll be one winner who will win a surprise prize it pretty much depends on what things they have and how much money I can save. Lastly, this won't be starting for another few months. Uh, we're looking for about 20 to 30 players. To be honest, I was thinking this would take a little bit longer, but actually, I've already got like 10 people, including myself, I think. I mean, I wanna, I wanna find about 30 to 40 people, and then so I can choose the people that I don't one, if that makes sense, I can make sure that I really get along with everyone. With that all out of the way, let's get right into it. So to start off with, I'm gonna need teams. Oh, that's just stuff for the intro. Start off with, I'm gonna need teams. So, slash team add alive and demised. By the way, this isn't gonna be the actual world that it's, it's on, that's gonna be a different world, but once I figured out what the logistics in this world, then hopefully I'll be able to. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully I will be able to replicate it in the the actual demised world. I don't know what I'm saying. 
I think you get the point though. You know, I'm just gonna know how to do this. I'm gonna figure out how to do this, and then I'm gonna do it again when I have to. Right, next I think we're gonna need something like this. Scoreboards, objectives, add deaths, and I think there is, yes, death count. So, uh, this will probably be hidden in the actual game, but just for testing purposes, I'm going to, um, wait. sidebar, so now, uh, if I get myself, myself, deaths, zero, there you go. That'll appear on the sidebar, but that's just for testing purposes. It's not going to be there. It will be hidden for the actual game. Um, right. So I think it's time to start placing command blocks now. Um, command block. Oh, one thing that we do need to do is uh, game rule command block output false. What this does is it means like when I press the button for the command block to activate. It won't say in chat what's going on. It will just all happen without announcing it all in chat. So, um, first thing that I'm going to want to do is slash team. No, wait. Slash effect give everyone in the team alive, glowing. Okay, and then repeat and always active. And now this would be absolutely spamming the chat. Oops. This would be absolutely spamming the chat if I had um, command block output on. But now, hopefully, this means that if I team join live, I will start glowing. And if I leave the team, I stop glowing. Perfect. And then I want to do pretty much the same thing, but I want the demise to have uh, resistance, so they are invincible forever. So now if I uh, join demise, you'll see I've got resistance there, which means I will be completely invincible. Yep, I am completely invincible. Perfect. That's that's what life is going to be like for demised people. Just you know, I can use this as a rocket jumper. <laughs> oh, I've made a mess now. Right, that's all fixed. It's just forget about that. So, Demised and Alive have Glowing and Resistance. And now this is... This is the bit that I'm worried about. Okay. It is... So, slash team join Demised for anyone that has... My idea is anyone that's got more than zero deaths, or someone that's got one deaths will join the demise team. So, is there... yes, there is scores. How do I... how does this... work? Oops. Um... Ah. I, d I don't... I don't know, I don't know what to do. One hour later. Ooh, that seems good. Ooh. Ooh! We've got yellow. That means that it is working, I think. Right, let's go slash team 
modify demised color uh, dark gray. Okay, I'm in the demise team. Uh, team leave. Okay, not in the demise team. Now if I go, if I kill myself, and I've got one death. Nope. Oh, I know. I think I know why that's not working. So, uh, players set myself death zero. Yeah, I need this to be always going. Now, if I spawn point here, that puts me in the demise team. That is perfect. Ooh, I seem to be flashing in and out of it though. I don't think that's too great. Uh, I am slightly worried about lag actually. If I've got 20 people in a the world, then this could go south. Um, especially since I'm clearly constantly joining that team. Okay, let me see if there's a better way to do this. Just to save my time, I'm gonna make a, another version of this. So now if I... I should be on the alive team again. And slash team. Alive color green, and there we go. I'm glowing green when I'm alive. Also, you know what? Yeah, modify live friendly fire. No friendly fire, and um, guys. There, okay. Right, okay. Okay, I couldn't figure out a way to do this. So... I'm just gonna make them activate slower. So now, it should only be checking for this every second or so, rather than every tick. Because if it's every tick, then it's just a mess. Like, it's happening way too frequently. But still, if I do this, I should... Huh. Why is that? Oh, that's why. So if I... So there's a way to unkill. <laughs> Scoreboard players... Set myself to zero. Nope, set deaths to zero. That will probably explain a fair amount. Why isn't it ticking though? This is probably why it isn't ticking. There we go. Now, it's a little slow to respond, but it's not a problem. So every time, essentially every time this, actually every time this one flashes, but essentially every time this one flashes, right? Then all alive, all players with death zero will be alive, and all players with death one will be demised. And I think that works just fine. And of course, I don't need to worry about doing more than one or anything because the demised people will be invincible. Now the next thing is I want to try and make it so that um, I want to try and make it so that demised people can't do any damage to alive people. And 
that's gonna be tough. You know what? I'm I'm just, I'm just not gonna worry about it because I'm fairly certain. I'm just gonna make it so that if it was a PvP kill, I'll just discount it. I'll set someone back to zero deaths, and that'll be that. Um. And I'll just, you know, trust people not to do PvP kills because it won't count. You know, I'm not going to count someone as demised. I'll, I'll switch them back ASAP. I feel like that can't be just it, but that seems like a fair amount of it done right there. Okay, after watching tutorials for about an hour straight, I think I know what to do now. I think. Okay, it should be... Oh, okay, I've forgotten. Okay, so what I want to do is slash scoreboard objectives add <clears throat> revive trigger and then I want this to be always active scoreboard Players enable everyone revive. So now slash trigger revive, but it does absolutely nothing. Okay, I have no clue if this is right because it's a very long command, but I think what this will do is it will eff execute. If someone has five, uh, I don't know. I'm oh god. Okay, yeah, this is this is all wrong. I think it should be e execute at anyone who. Scores is revive equals one. Um, then at scores revive equals one. Run scoreboard. Players remove from the nearest player deaths one. Does that make any sense? I think the idea here is this will execute at, so this will happen at anyone who has, who has activated revive then it will do this command, scoreboard players remove one death from the nearest person. But of course it is a repeating command block, so this will happen constantly. So I need to put a chain command block on top, which will, it will, Scoreboard players remove remove one revive from anyone whose revive is one. So this probably still won't work, but it could. Two things. I don't have anyone with me to test this, and also I've just realized that this can't be the nearest person because then it will just add one then it will just remove one death from that person so it needs to be the nearest person that scores is deaths equals one I don't understand why this isn't working it seems kind of simple-ish to me. Okay, I've got 
one revive because I have done slash trigger revive. It'll give me another revive, right? Purely for testing purposes. Now what should be happening is right, so slash trigger revive. So that should be setting to one. And when it's one, then so this I'm guessing conditional this is pointing into here. No? But this should be if I copy and paste this exact command, what this should be doing is it will find someone that's got a rev that's that's used revive and from them it will run the scoreboard players remove the nearest person that's got a death so from them it will re find the nearest person that's got a death and it will remove that death that's what it should be doing but it's not Finally, I have changed this to be only once. I can press this button to reset it, but now people can only do slash trigger revive once. Because um, yeah, I didn't think it through, but I had this repeating, so it would always make them able to do that. But no, they can just do it once. Now I'm going to go over each command. This one is repeatedly giving the team alive glowing. So, you can see... I am always glowing as I start alive. This one, right a minute. This one will take anyone that's got a score of one death, and it will put them in the demised team. So I'm now in the demise team. This one will give me resistance forever. This one makes sure that there's no glitches by making anyone that has zero deaths are automatically alive just to simplify things as well really this command block means that everyone can revive one person and if I do slash trigger revive what it will do is it will give me one score revive which will activate this it will find someone who has this one revive score then it will run from that person and it will uh, find the nearest person that has got one death and it will remove that one death as you can see then it will go up here it will remove that one revive and they can no longer do this again so if I go to survival mode and see uh, I'm going to have to just trust people not to revive themselves, really, because I cannot be bothered to work on this for any longer. But I can do slash trigger revive. It will revive me. And I cannot do that again. Even if I type it in. I cannot do that again. There we go. You cannot trigger this object. I cannot revive anyone anymore because I have used my one revive. That is it. These 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 command blocks are what's going to run the entire Demise SMP. Anyway, that's all the time I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're very excited for the Demise SMP. I really am. And I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making. Also, please do like and subscribe. It means so, so much more than you can imagine because I'm a small YouTuber. Anyway, I've been Groot Set GM. You've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Thank you